Hello and welcome to Smartboss tutorial series. Uh, in this tutorial, we are just going to have a quick overview of how you can build a level from scratch. So I'll just start a new scene. So now our scene is saved and I'll prepare for lighting settings inside lighting. And if you, if you have a previous version of Unity, you might not need to uh, press a new lighting settings uh, button, just auto-generate. And for now, and we, let's uh, start making a level. So you go into uh, edit, shmub boss, level, create finite level components. After that, you see a message over here that reminding you that you don't have a UI and you'll need to add it manually. So you go into prefabs, UI, level UI, and that's it. Basically now you have all the elements, the core elements you need for your level. We, we will explain them uh, as we go on so that uh, you don't have too much information just right off the start. But even if you want to read, you can always go to the documentation and you can choose components, for example, and you can read on any components you would like to. Very quickly, you have um, the level which you can choose the vertical or the horizontal level where you can spawn the player and its depth index. And the depth index determines uh, the, the Z position of items on the level so they can have things on top of each other. And the camera has a script and the multiplier defines the global difficulty system which we can explain in another tutorial. For now, it's just set on normal difficulty by choosing this number at one. Zero will choose easy, too hard. Let's keep it at one. So it means it's taking this data. And input handler, just the input and the background. Let's just add one background so that we can see something. So you have, you can add as many layers as you want. Let's make the first layer. Name it main background, for example. And let's add one background inside. Now the backgrounds have a special requirement. If you go inside, for example, prefabs over here, backgrounds, let's uh, pick a space background and put it over here. Let's give it some speed. And let's keep it a uh, depth index of zero means it's the bottom most uh, layer. So let's play. So now you have your own background and your scene. It, we will go over the backgrounds in a complete tutorial, but just to note that the backgrounds is a prefab, the one I input here, it's not just a sprite. So this sprite has a box collider 2D, which is trigger. All right, and if you notice, we have a message here reminding us that we need to input a player. So I'm just going to edit, shmup boss agents, create player template. So inside the player template, we now have everything we need for a player, but the player is doesn't have any visuals. Um, and also to, to help see things, I'm going to the scrolling background and going to turn on the preview button to see the background and go to the player. And I'll add from the prefabs, agent visuals, just one of the spaceships. Let's just put the star sparrow over here. I'm going to unpack the prefab so that we don't change anything. I'll delete the colliders that came with it. And now the, we have a player, but as you see, it's not pointing in the correct direction. So I'm going to change its rotation. Uh, players in uh, for vertical levels need to be turned uh, to, to, to have the direction upward. And in a horizontal level, they need to be rightward. And enemies are the opposite. Uh, once you spawn them, you'll see the result. So let me just make it smaller. It's too big right now. And that's pretty much it. But uh, so to apply the player inside the level, this player needs to be a prefab. So I'll just create a prefabs folder inside here. Um, let me call it tutorials. Or tell you what, let me put it inside the demos. And inside here, I'm going to drag and drop the player and I'm going to apply the player over here. 
to deactivate this one and play and that's it but the player now is not moving because the mover is set to zero so i'm going to open the prefab let's give it a speed of 10 and move so now we have basically have a player which is bound by this box and moves inside the scene and we can later on uh, add the uh, weapons to it and modify the backgrounds just a few things to note for example if i didn't deactivate this player you will have two players in the scene because you have this one active and the level will activate this player now the easy way is to, to deactivate it or i have even here if you can see prefabs editing and testing which basically deletes anything inside this when the game starts So to, to make it easier, everything you do a prefab or something, you just place it in here. And if you do any adjustment to this one, just make sure that you hit the apply. These are uh, some of the basic Unity skills. Uh, in anything inside the level or inside the spawner needs to be uh, referenced as a prefab. And that's, that's pretty much it. Okay, and in other tutorial, and just to quickly recap, let me show you, this is the field, this is the play field. Let me hit is drawing field. So this one controls where things are spawned and also where the player moves. Let me, for example, offset it. And this is a despawning field where anything that goes out of it will be uh, despawned. So let me make it a little bigger and let's play. So you see now the player can't move more than that, let me just put it back, and you can even in uh, control individual edges. And the field source determines how this field is calculated. Currently, it's calculated by what the camera sees, view field. It can be calculated by the background directly or by the input values you put inside here. Let me just put it back into view field. And that's the first tutorial. So to recap, you have the core elements over here, which are the level multiplier input handler, and you have the different fields, game fields, like the play field, the spawning field, and you have different pools, which have been already set for you. And again, you can read more on inside the documentation. And the main menu, will get to it in a different uh, tutorial, and you have the camera, background, and the different agents. In another tutorial, we in the next one we'll probably will see how the background works.